Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marider. Today we will be discussing about Rogue Wave, the deadly sea monster. In this picture we can say that the ship in a Rogue Wave. It is a huge wave. For more marine related topics, do like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a great day ahead. Sailors of yore have told tales of the appearance of monster waves spanning heights of 80 to 100 feet or more. Once thought to be a myth, they have been proven to be a reality. Once thought to be rare, they have been shown to be a weekly events in the seas. A rogue wave is large, unexpected and dangerous. Rogue wave estimated at 18.3 meters, that is 60 feet in the Gulf Stream of the Calston, South Carolina. At the time, surface winds were late at 15 knots. The wave was moving away from the ship after crashing into moments before the photo was captured. Rock, freak or killer waves have been part of marine folklore for centuries but have only been accepted as real by scientists over the past few decades. Rogues called extreme storm waves by scientists are those waves which are greater than twice the size of surrounding waves, are very unpredictable and often come unpredictably from directions other than prevailing wind and waves. Most reports of extreme storm waves say they look like walls of water. They are often steep sided with unusually deep troughs. Since these waves are uncommon, measurements and analysis of this phenomena is extremely rare. Exactly how and when rock waves form is still under investigation, but there are several unknown causes. One among them is constructive interference. Extreme waves often form because swells while traveling across the ocean do so at different speeds and direction. As these swells pass through one another, their crust, trough and length sometimes coincide and reinforce each other. This process can form unusually large towering waves that quickly disappear. If the swells are traveling in the same direction, these mountainous waves may last for several minutes before subsiding. Focusing of wave energy is also one of the reasons. When waves formed by storm develop in a water current against the normal wave direction, an interaction can take place which result in a shortening of wave frequency. This can cause the waves to dynamically join together, forming very big rock waves. The currents where these are sometimes seen are the Gulf Stream and Agulhas current. The extreme waves developed in this fashion tend to be longer lived. In this picture, we can see that the perfect storm, a movie released on 2000s, and in the same name, a book is also released. It is a true event, true story of men against the sea. It is one of the top selling books in the New York Times list by Sebastian Junker. The Perfect Storm is a movie based on the book of the same name by Sebastian Junker. It is the true story of the Andrea Gale, a commercial fishing ship that left port of Goldster, Maine late October 1991. Heading for the North Atlantic. Its captain was Billy Tyne and he had a crew of five hardy men. While they are in the process of pursuing their livelihood, they are unexpectedly caught in a very intense storm pattern. Their tragic demise has been attributed to a disastrous encounter with a rogue wave. Rogue waves are also referred to as freak waves or killer waves by sailors. And as extreme storm waves by researchers, unlike tsunamis, which are considered shallow water waves, they are deep water wind waves because they are generated by the wind and have a restoring gravitational force. So, this is much more effective. Rogue waves are characterized by the height more than twice the size of waves surrounding them, with directions different from that of wind and other nearby waves. They are also unusual because of their ability to achieve extreme height. Normal ocean waves typically average height of no more than 12 to 15 meters 
that is nearly 39 to 49 feet even in storms rock waves however can be much higher and it is not unusual for them to be 80 to 100 feet for a while they have been thought to be myths only despite having been observed by sailors throughout the ages there were also once thought to be uncommon occurring over a period of thousands of years but this has been found to be false more recently it was speculated that there were about 10 rock waves in existence every year however 10 of them were once spotted in a three week period contradicting this belief more importantly satellites have now shown that they are a frequent natural occurrence that happens not only during fierce storm but also in calm seas and they are known to suddenly appear without any warning rock waves are no respecters of geography incidents have been recorded in the north atlantic the south atlantic the pacific the antarctic and the south indian ocean they are most common in the latter particularly around south africa in part 2 we will look at rock wave disasters on the sea and dry land nice thank you we'll be coming soon with more interesting and informative topics do like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more instant updates jai hind